Hey everyone, I'm Dave. Welcome to Beastmate Reviews, the channel where we like to talk about quality at different price points. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a lot of different products that I have been really enjoying over the summer and some really high quality things I can really recommend to you. Now, sometimes things come across your path and they really change the way that you live. Maybe they're an improvement to a design of something that you already use a lot. Maybe they improve your quality of life. Maybe you just like to wear something. Maybe it makes you uh, look flattering or whatever it is, whether it's clothing or an EDC item or whatever it is. I really like having new products come in and it just totally changes my paradigm about some things. And that's what this is today. These are some things that I've really been enjoying this summer. Some of these things I've had for a while, but I only get to really enjoy at certain times and other things are brand new. So I'm gonna be talking about that today, my favorite things this summer. First on the list are the sunglasses by Enemy Shades. Now, depending on when this video goes up, I will have another video on Enemy Shades, but this one is their O2 model. Um, hopefully my my uh, lopsided ears don't make these look too crooked. <laughs> this is their O2 model, which is a Wayfarer design. I really love these. And I love Wayfarer designs in general. And when I got these, it immediately kicked to the curb another Wayfarer model that I already own. There are Zeiss optics on the inside and great Italian acetates. I just love these a lot. Cannot recommend them enough. Next is this Weekender bag by Jackson Wayne. Now I have videos on briefcases on the channel if you wanna go watch that to talk about some of our favorite uh, briefcases that we like. And some of my favorites are from Jackson Wayne. Now Jackson Wayne has some new designs out. Uh, they've recently kind of updated some of their line. Um, and this one is one that came out a couple of years ago, and I believe this is kind of one of their mainstays. This is their Weekender, and this one has uh, wax canvas on the outside and, and a leather bottom. I absolutely love this bag. Anywhere I go, this goes with me. If I'm going on a trip, um, if I'm going uh, anywhere for a short time, a long time, no matter how long the time is, I'm taking this Weekender with me. It's just a, just an, a solid bag that looks great, that fits everything I need in it, and it is just perfect. I actually just went on a trip to Cape Cod with my family, and uh, I took the Weekender with me, and on the way, I met Andrew uh, the owner of Jackson Wayne. He and I have become friends over time, so take that for what you will, but I absolutely love his bags. I've loved them before we became friends. So, and I will continue to love them and gush about them. Fantastic company. Definitely go check out Jackson Wayne. Next are these Taylor Stitch shirts. Now, I've had a lot of comments um, over two of my channels. If you don't know, I have a fragrance channel called Fragrance Bros in which I review fragrances, but I've been wearing these shirts for years now, and recently I've gotten some more of their uh, short sleeve shirts and cannot stop wearing them. I absolutely love them. Now, they have a couple different shirt designs, kind of like templates that they have, and um, this one is their California, which has an open collar. And then shirts like this one that I get a lot of compliments on is their Jack, which is an Oxford button down design. This has an indigo dye on the outside. So over time it's gonna wear in and discolor and lighten up. And it's already gorgeous as it is, but it will only get better over time. Another thing that I really love from them is just their simple t-shirt. They call it a heavy bag shirt. I think one of the reasons they call it a heavy bag is because um, these are partly made with recycled plastics from the ocean, which I think is fantastic. Even if that wasn't part of the whole uh, angle there, these shirts are incredible. These are incredible t-shirts. They have a nice weight to them and feel to them. The cut is perfect. Taylor Stitch makes incredible products and their shirts are some of the best shirts I have ever owned. I also have some of their jeans, which I absolutely love. And I have some boots on the way that I'm gonna test out for the channel. Absolutely love these shirts. Definitely check out Taylor Stitch. Next are two lines from the site Huckberry. Now, of course, you all know Huckberry if you've been on the channel for any amount of time. I absolutely love Huckberry. They have a fantastic site. Huckberry owns a few different lines that they promote exclusively on their channel. One of them is Flint and Tinder, which these are shorts from them. The Flint and Tinder shorts are some of the best shorts I've ever had. They have a nice stretch to them. They have the perfect size and fit. They have a slight taper to them and the way, the way they fit. They have a lot of different colors. They're so comfortable, I absolutely love them. Flint and Tinder is a great brand in general, but they have a few items that are just mainstays for me and they will always be. And some of them are the Flint and Tinder hoodie, of course, 
and these. These are called their 365 shorts. They also have 365 pants, which I also really love as well. But for the summertime, of course, their shorts are king. Another line that Huckberry recently acquired is called Wellen. And Wellen is more of a kind of beachfarer uh, type of line that has a very coastal theme to it. And I got a few different things from them. I got a, a polo from them as well as some pants and some shorts. And I've been wearing their polo and shorts a lot this summer. What I really like about them is that a lot of their clothing is made with a hemp blend, uh, over 50% hemp on a lot of their products. Hemp is a much stronger fiber than cotton, has some antimicrobial properties. So that's a plus in every department for, <laughs> for hemp for clothing anyway. The polo is a very great polo that is true to size. Their shorts are fantastic. They seem pretty rugged for what they are. The rest of their line is great too, but their shorts in particular and this shirt are great. All right, now is a couple of choices from the EDC department. First is this Sabenza, large Sabenza. The Sabenza, of course, is great and everyone says that and of course it is they are incredible really high quality blades here some of the best tolerances for quality control that are out there for production knives it's one of those knives where it's so beautiful you're not sure if you want to carry it or not <laughs> but I do. I carry it a lot. <laughs> so definitely check out the Sabenza from Chris Reeves Knives. Next is the Slughouse Nano. Now this is not a top, this is actually a pen. You can just put this on your keychain and it's just an anytime pen that weighs almost nothing. Ever since I got this a few weeks ago, it's just been uh, a constant companion and has been great for just everyday task if I need to write something. It's been great. Next are some earplugs. Now I always try to carry earplugs with me no matter where I go because you just may need them. And I try to take care of my ears. I'm a musician, so I try to take care of my ears. So if you're going anywhere with loud music or loud noises, you want to have ear protection. And recently I reached out to this company, Eargasm, and they make these silicone earplugs that have a really nice frequency response. So sometimes with earplugs, whenever you wear them, you instantly get that kind of underwater sound where almost all the highs are gone and you get kind of just a low, you know, kind of rumble type of sound. These don't have that as much. They have a very even frequency response. So they, they cut off a lot of frequencies in a very natural way because they feel so comfortable and they sound so natural. I'm not even sure if they're working. And then I take them out and then everything turns back up again. So they do exactly what they're supposed to do. They turn down the volume just enough and they're very comfortable. So I really like these a lot. A great feature of these is that it comes in a little carrying case that you can put on your keychain, which is amazing. You should have these on your keychain. It's just great. So eargasm earplugs, awesome. And of course I wear cologne all the time. Every day I try to wear some type of cologne. And like I mentioned before, I have another fragrance channel out there called Fragrance Bros. And this is one that I've just been going to a lot this summer. And this is Dior Homme Cologne. Uh, Dior makes a lot of different fragrances. They're all really high quality. Dior Homme Cologne is a very citrusy fragrance. It is very fresh and very simple. But what I like about it is it's just so easy to wear. It's not fussy at all. It smells fantastic. And I have a lot of different fragrances and a lot of different expensive fragrances. And this is um, not terribly expensive. It's in just kind of the average range, but this has been something that I've been reaching for a lot recently. It's just a wonderful, perfect, simple fragrance that is magnificent. All right, next is a couple of choices that uh, I haven't talked about yet on the channel, but I will, and that is disc golf. Now, my son and I have been playing a lot of disc golf over the summer, and we just upgraded and got a lot of great discs. He has been rocking this bag from Nutsack Bags, um, which carries about six or eight different discs. And I've been carrying this bag from Nutsack Bags, which is um, their Satchel Pro. And it's not meant for discs. It's not meant for disc golf, but I find that um, I have it and it fits these really well. So I carry it a lot. And because it's wax canvas and really durable, it just does a great job at carrying these discs. Some of the discs I've been carrying are from uh, Disc Mania. Here's a couple of them from Discmania here, which I absolutely love. These are some of my favorite go-tos. And my son has been playing with some from Dynamic Discs, um, which are great as well. Here's a, a putter from them. That's a great putter. 
and they're just fantastic. We've had a great time playing disc golf, and I'm gonna have a complete review of these discs as well as the bags themselves, so stay tuned for that. All right, now let's talk about some shoes that I've been wearing this summer. The ones that I'm gonna choose now are three main pairs of shoes, and I think that represents the bulk of what I've worn this summer, and these are just uh, some that are just phenomenal. A couple of these I've had for a while. One of them is new. The first pair are from Oboes. These are phenomenal hiking shoes. They're great for my area because there's a lot of uh, knots and stuff in on paths here, and especially for playing disc golf with my son. These have been just a great addition to playing the game. So every time I play, I always bring my Oboes. They fit perfectly. They're, they're hard where they need to be hard and soft where they need to be soft. Perfect. Uh, hiking shoes, and of course, great for disc golf. While I've been wearing those, I've also been wearing socks from Darn Tough Socks. Darn Tough is a company out of Vermont, and they make socks that have a lifetime warranty. Um, and I think they have a lifetime warranty because they make them so well, you may not even need to turn them in. But here are just one of them that has uh, some cushion on the bottom that I've been wearing a lot. They've been phenomenal, and they fit really well, and they're so comfortable. They've completely changed uh, the way I wear socks with hiking shoes because now I'm really spoiled. <laughs> Next are these right here, the city slippers from Mohinder. Mohinder is a company that makes these slippers that they saw from, I believe, a trip to India. And they saw someone making these slippers out of buffalo hide. They got the design and then they turned it into a business. And I have to say, these are some of the best shoes I have ever had, ever had. They're a great alternative to flip-flops, which it gets really hot down here in the south. So flip-flops are kind of a staple, but I hate the way they look. They look so informal and sloppy, but these are an upgrade to that. They instantly elevate the look while also at the same time being very casual and laid back and also cool. And I've walked miles in these, miles. You can barely tell that these have had any wear. I've had these for a few years now. They have some nice patina on the outside of the leather. They've darkened up with age. And I probably have probably five more years out of these before I'll even need to buy another one. They're just that good. They are incredible. And if you like summer shoes at all, I think these are a must have. And of course, next are the Penny Loafers by uh, Grant Stone. Of course, I love Grant Stone so much. I have a full review of most of their line if you wanna go watch that. But Grant Stone have an incredible line of shoes and boots. They make really high quality stuff that look fantastic. They look classic yet modern at the same time. This is their uh, travel penny loafer in navy chrome XL. I didn't need to break this in at all. It's just perfect out of the box. I love what Grant Stone is doing and these are a hit. I love these. They're perfect for the summertime. That I think is all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. What do you think of the selections that I've made here? What catches your eye? And what have been some things that you have uh, just really loved this summer? Some new things or maybe some old things? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll love you for it. And click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.